Hello Year 4, we're going to just retouch on line graphs for a second. So line graphs are used to uh, compare things over a certain amount of time. So what we're going to be doing is comparing the monthly temperature from April to September. So the very first thing that I'm going to need is a title. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to put my title in over here. Remember we're using squared paper, it's always easier. That's a bit small. There we go, there's my title and I'll underline it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to need are the axes. So there's two axes. One is the Y axis, and that one's easy to remember because Y goes up towards the sky. And then we've got the X axis, and that one's easy to remember because X is across, or it goes across the page, just like that. Okay, so now we need to label the axes so that we know what they're showing. So the first axis, the, the y-axis, is going to be showing the monthly temperature. And it's going to be doing that <clears throat> in degrees Celsius. So we need to say what unit is being used. So I'm going to copy that. I'll turn it around so it fits. Actually, I'll get rid of the April to September bit first. So there we go, there's the label for our y axis. And that's just going to go at the side over there. Okay, now this one down here is where we're going to put the month, so April to September. So I'm going to have April 1st. Put that right there. Perfect, April there. And then I'll have what comes after April, May. It's going to go there. I'm going to put that one here. In fact, I'll put them so they're on the line rather than in the middle of the lines. Okay, after May, we've got June. And can go in there. We've got July. August. Oops, now you spell August. There you go. And then last but not least, we will have September. Okay. Now, if you look on the left hand side of my screen, should see that I've got a little table over here showing how high the temperatures were. So if we look, so sort of the highest temperature we've got is 20 and the lowest is 11. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up probably from 10 and I'll go up in twos because I probably don't have enough room for everything else. So I'll go 10, 12, 14, etc, etc. So start off with 10 and then we'll have 12. Drag that up to the right place. Then we'll have 14. Sixteen. Eighteen. And 20. So I'm actually going to spread them a little further out, I think. So I'll go spread all these out nice and high. So I'll have 12 there, 14, 16, 18, and 20. Okay, I think we're ready to start plotting our line graph. So we're going to do it with the X's in the right place. So first things first, we've got April which is 12 degrees. So that's going to go just here. Now that should be in line with April, but it should also be in line with where 12 is. Now we know 12 is between the 10 and the tw uh, 11. Oops, sorry, April is 11. So it's going to be between the 10 and the 12. So next we've got May. 
which is 15. So I'm going to start on the x-axis at May. I'm going to, I'm going to go up to 15. Up, 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 up. There it is between the 14 and 16. I'm going to put a lovely little cross there. Okay, June, we've got 16. So starting at June on the X, all the way up to 16 on the Y, and putting a lovely little cross. July is 17, so again, X axis all the way up to 17. August is 20, way up there, so all the way up here. And September is back down to 18. So starting September, going up. And there it is. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to join these X's up so that we can see it more clearly. There's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so what we just made there is a really good representation of our data. And we can see that it started quite low in April and it got steadily higher, steady, 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 whoa, way up in August, and then it started to drop again in September. I hope that made sense. Cheers, guys. See you later.